Hi, I'm Candace Cordelia on The Breakdown. Last year, Forbes magazine contributor Michael Thompson wrote an article titled, Why Google's Employee Diversity Programs Are Doomed to Fail. In his piece, Thompson addressed the fact that only 30% of its employees are female and 2% black, as well as the unconscious bias within Google's work culture. Now, let's fast forward to Google's Diversity Core program, where Google employees are tasked to recruit potential female and minority coworkers. USA Today reports that 500 Google staff members in 53 offices are lending their time and knowledge to the plan. The official Google website boldly showcases visitors the demographics of their company's workforce, where 70% of men are employed and 61% of overall workers are white. There are also sections on the same page below of different resource groups like the Google Veterans Network, Gaglers, Google Women in Engineering, and Special Needs Network. Each group is dedicated to helping underrepresented individuals who already work for or are interested in being employed by the technology company. Diversity in the workplace, particularly in the areas of technology and engineering, are current hot topics. Many girls and women are learning how to code, with the New York Times having stated last year that in 2013, only 14% of computer science graduates in college were women. Brian Kurzanich, the prevailing CEO of Intel, announced his company's $300 million investment in their diversity and technology enterprise, spearheaded by Intel president Renee James. According to Fortune Magazine's website, Intel and James hopes to achieve full representation of women and minorities by the year 2020. Also, Denise Young-Smith, head of human resources at Apple, who is an African-American woman, has ambitions to hire people from all different backgrounds, making Apple a more inclusive place. We've all been grappling with this, Young-Smith tells Fortune. Sometimes there's something comforting in realizing that you've failed and that you've got to do something better. With daily advances in technology, our world continues to feel smaller and smaller. For companies such as Google, diversity in the workplace not only makes perfect sense, but will also help to encourage better ideas for our society at large. We would love to hear your thoughts about this story. Send your comments to suggestions at bennetwork.com. I'm Candace Cordelia, and thank you for watching BEN, where jobs come first.